testing. So shall your voice share testimony unto God. Amen. 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 We be in the kingdom that the name of Jesus. Amen. Your voice will be heard in all over the world. Amen. Amen. Shout out hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 that the enemy has put on you is mm. yeah. that you yeah. don't know about. And mm. I pray right now that that load, the blood of Jesus Christ will take that load out of you. Amen. 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 In marriage, the Lord will bring peace into your home. Amen. Into yeah. your life. Amen. Amen. Happiness. You are Amen. happy in the in the court. I pray mm. this morning, as you drop salt inside the water, you mm. cannot be able to bring out that salt. So shall oh. this be met now. Amen. Amen. The Lord give you victory. Amen. Amen. Jesus. I Amen. The God of heaven will wipe away your tears. Amen. Amen. The name of the Lord be glorified in your life. Amen. In Amen. Jesus' name, we have for you. Amen. 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 Brothers and sisters, I want to welcome all of you all to this program of Good Morning Jesus Family Foundation in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And I want to thank God who make it possible for us to see the last day of this program that we started few weeks ago. And today is the end of the 31 days praise and worship night. Not because of our power we could do it, but because of the grace of God. Mm-hmm. And we find out that this program has caused a lot of testimonies into our life. And then the testimony is begun today. As we are ending it today, the one God have sh- show to us the one we have done those one is to show us to let us know what he's going to do how great it is and i pray that your testimony will not pass you by amen and that tomorrow we are going to begin with the holy ghost tomorrow tomorrow we are going to have three days with the holy ghost don't miss out the programs because there will be a marathon prayers. Endeavor to make sure you key in to this program. This night, we still have our last day of praise and worship. Endeavor to make sure you join the program. Invite your friends, your brothers, and your sisters to this banquet of the Lord. And I tell you, God will do you good. Let's go to our Bible this morning. The book of Psalm 119. Psalm 119. We're taking from verse 33 to 40. Psalm 119, from verse 33 to 40. Are we there? No. Yes. Okay. We are taking it. We are taking it to, sorry, we are t- going to stop. 
we're going to stop. Let's take it for even 14, uh, 41. 41 to 48. Please, if you are there, read. From 41 to 48. Yes. Third, let the mercy come also unto you, unto me, O Lord, even the salvation according to thy word. So shall I have wherewith to answer him that reproached me, for I trust in the law, in the word, for the theory, and take not the word of truth utterly out of my mouth, for I have hope in thy judgment, so shall I keep the law continually forever and ever, and I will walk at liberty, for I seek thy precepts, I will speak of thy testimony also before kings, and will not be ashamed. 47. And I will delight myself in thy commandment, which I have loved. 48, the last verse. My hand also will I lift up unto thy commandment, which I have loved, and I will meditate in thy status. Amen. Mm. God bless you. This morning, we are taking a message that says, I will delight myself in the commandment which I love. I will delight myself in the commandment which I love. Who can explain to us what does it mean when we talk of delight? Who can tell us what does it mean when we call when we say delight, I delight. That means that, that I will present myself unto the Lord. I will present myself unto the Lord. Good. God bless you. Any other person? What does it mean when we say delight? That means to um, to appreciate, to appreciate the commandment of God, which He loves so much. To appreciate, that is good. Our sister Lydia, what does it mean when we say delight? I delight. I will. I delight myself in the commandment. Well, when you say delight, it means. Uh, maybe what you love most, like I, I'm happy, I'm glad, like I appreciate and I love being in the presence of God. Okay. That is, God bless you. Any other person, delight, what does it mean, that word, delight? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, simply means gratitude. Same way. I'm sorry. Um, gratitude. Gratitude, delight, mean also gratitude, but it still means a lot of things. Delight, I delight myself in their commandment. What, uh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What it means to, to, to present, oh. to do all according to the will. To do all, God bless you, according to the will. God bless all of you. Another person that will, let me go on. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. To delight uh, someone's self in the world, is, it means to have a great pleasure in the word of God. To have a great pleasure in the, in the word of God. God bless all of you. Delight. All these answers are true. Delight simply oh. means also. I allow my will to be lost. I allow my will to be lost. For your will to be done. Which simply means I lost my commandment. I lost my own will. Now I follow your own, your own. That is simply mean I delight, I will delight, I will. I will, I'll, I will, I'll set your we in my life. I will delight myself in that commandment. I will what? I will make sure that now 
is your law that will not swallow me, that not take over me. The light simply means God's will will be done because I love this instruction and I love to follow him. Yes, let's go back also to confirm in the book of uh, Psalm 37. Yesterday, the Lord was teaching the children something very, very important. Let's go there. Psalm 37, verse 4. Are we there? Yes. The Lord. yes. Hallelujah. Psalm 37, verse 4. Say, delight thyself also in the Lord. And he shall give thee the desire of their heart. Yes, do you see that? Delight. Allow the will of God to swallow your heart. Your and he will now what? He will now give you the desire of your heart. If you read down, he said, commit the will unto the Lord. Trust also in him. And he shall what? bring it to pass that which he has spoken concerning you. I delight, I allow my will to be lost and the will of God swallow my whole will. This is the only way God will bring it to pass, will give you your, your heart desire. Delight in an heartful love for the word of God. Delight in the in and delight in and handful love from the word of God. Have that great love from the word of God. Joy comes to his heart as he read and obey God's word. As you read and obey God's word, there is a great joy that comes in. But today, Many people have no interest to watch, to read. Some people, as we read together, but they fail to obey it. Obedient. When we be, when we really obey the word of God, there are blessings that come in. When we obey the word of God, many people today does not obey what the, the, what the Lord is saying. Likewise. When we read the Bible with what with an earnest desire to understand and to keep Christ's commandment and to keep Christ's commandment, we read it with what with earnest desire, earnest desire. When we talk about the earnest desire, what does it mean when we say earnest desire? What does it mean? Earnest desire. Hallelujah. I think with all willingness. With all willingness. Sister Josephine, what does it mean? Sister Lydia, what does it mean? Mr. Brown, what does it mean? <clears throat> Endless desire means full desire to have a full desire of something, not halfway. Maybe you are one leg in and one leg out. A full desire to desire something. Yes, God bless you, Sister Lydia. Are you there? Uh, to be to be sincere, like praise the Lord. To be sincere about what you want. To be sure of what you want. To be like sure this is what I want. To be sincere. To have the confidence that this is what I want. This is what I long for. God bless you. That is earnest desire. Does somebody want to say something? To have faith with God. Eh? To have faith with God. To have faith in God. Okay. God bless all of you. Now, the earnest, that is the earnest desire that I put all my confidence, all my heart, that this is something that I want, I want this. You know, many of you that uh, when you were in the school, university, you put all your, 
all your effort. This is the course I want to read. And at the end, I want to come out with a great word, with a, with, with a great joy. I want to have a, I want, that is something that, that is a level, something you want to bring out, that is a level you want to be, you don't want to be among those that drop out. You have this earnest desire to work, to read your book. If you don't read that book, at the end of it all, you will be among those that will be that will drop out. When you when people are flying going to NYC, you will still be where you are. But you put that earnest, you put that your all your all your effort, you put that that your all your effort to make sure that in the midnight you wake up and begin to read. Friend, we must have this earnest, the earnest desire to understand and to keep Christ's commandment. Let's read Psalm 119. We are reading Psalm 119, 20, 24, 40, 60. Psalm 119, 20, 4, 24, 40, and 60. Are we there? Yes, sir. Let's go ahead. I read in Jesus' name. 20. My soul breaketh for the longing that it had unto thy judgment at all times. Yes. 24. 24. Thy testimonies also are my delight and my counselors. Okay. 40. 40. Behold, I have longed after thy precepts. Quicken me in thy righteousness. Yes, sixty now. Sixty. I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. Yes, God bless you. I mm. make haste and I delay it. I delay not to keep the commandment. Many of you delay to keep the commandments. Many of you delay to follow Christ. You hear the truth. You are still angry with the truth. You hear it, you delay to obey it. As you are delaying to obey, you are delaying to get the blessing. You are delaying to enjoy the blessing that follow obedience. Friend, there is a need for us to know, say, behold, I have long after the priesthood put in me in the righteousness. I used to, I used to work are you still telling the Lord, quickly me in your righteousness? There is a need. The testimony also are my delight and my counsel. Is it true that the testimony, what is the testimony? The word of God. His testimony, I delight. Do you still delight in his testimony? Are you still really interested to follow it? The Holy Spirit Impute God's love into our heart. The Holy Spirit is the work of the Holy Spirit. Now we are going to see that in the book of uh, in the book of John, the book of John, chapter fourteen. I believe. Let me read here so that I will not read it two times. Say, book of John, chapter fourteen, verse fifteen. If he love me. Keep my commandment. You see that? If you love me, do what? Keep my commandment. But there are people that say, I love, if I ask now, do we love the Lord? Is anybody here you love the Lord? Anybody here you love the Lord? Yes, nobody, sir. Nobody? Do we love the Lord? Yes, and sir. The people to do yes, God bless you. People today say they love the Lord with their mouth, but their heart are far from them. Their heart is far from God. Especially people that are saying they are in church. They join the people of the world and doing competition. These are people that say they love the Lord. They say they love the Lord in the area of money. They say, Lord, you understand. Lord, you understand this use God's money. These are people that say they love the Lord. 
people that say they love the Lord, they don't, they refuse to separate away from people that are lying, people that are deceiving the people, deceivers, Christians. How can you say you have that love for God? That you reach office where you're supposed to tell them the truth, but because of error, because of pants, or because of dollar, you begin to lie, or because of this document, this paper, document that will not take you to eternal life. You begin to tell lie because you want to get the document, you don't want to suffer, you want to get the money, you want to get everything. But after that, you go, oh God, you understand, I need to lie. My friend is a lie. God does not understand that. There is no love there. If love is there, that office you will show how much you love this God to tell them the truth. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Oh, what will you do? I will what? I will give you another comforter Another comforter, look at uh, verse 17. Even the spirit of truth, who the world cannot receive because it see him not, neither know him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and it shall be in you. That is the comforter. When this comforter be in you, the comforter is a driver that drives every true believer. The comforter will drive you for you not to make a mistake, for you not to disobey the commandment. But some people today refuse to allow the comforter to drive them. When the comforter is not even telling them how they should go, he said, no, we are going to be the one to drive you, comforter, stay our back. They are not the one leading the Holy Spirit instead of them to allow the Holy Spirit to lead them. The Holy Spirit is telling them what to do. They said no, they refuse because the Satan has what has so seen into their heart. I pray God of heaven will help us. We still read that same place, 20, uh, John chapter 14, from verse, we read 21 and 23. 21 and 23. 21 said, he said, he that has my commandment and keepeth them, he is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be love of my father. And I will love him and I will magnify myself to him. And mark the word. This is the word of the Lord. He that has my commandment and keep it there that the person is the one that loved me. Look at verse 24. He said, He that loveth me, he that loveth me, not keep it my saying, and he the uh, and the word which ye hear is not of mine, but the father which sent me. He that loveth me. He that loveth me and not keep it by saying that people that say they love God, but they are not keeping what the Lord is saying. They are not keeping the instruction. They are saying we are now in a new generation. Friend, we are in a new generation. Does not shift the standard of God. We are in a new generation does not take away a standard of the Almighty. The standard of old, I was telling the people in the midnight, I said, if God changed the standard, simply may God need to make, go and make restitution to Adam and Eve. If God changed the standard of old, God need, the, he need to go and make restitution. But if God make restitution to Adam and Eve, simply mean God is not qualified to be the Almighty. Simply mean it will not happen. Let's see in Romans chapter 5, verse 5. Help us to delight, to declare the truth of God, of God, and bring us great joy 
and be light. Let's see it in the book of uh, Romans chapter 5, verse 5. And uh, we also see in the book of John chapter 15, verse 10 to 11. Who is there? Romans chapter 5, verse 5. Romans chapter 5, verse 5 says, And hope maketh not a shame, because the love of God is shared abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. Yes, God bless you. You can mm -hmm. see that and say, hope make it not to be ashamed. But many of you are ashamed of Christ today. Many of you are ashamed to dress holy, holy, holy dressing because you are still ashamed. How can I join these people? What my friends are going to say, they will say, holy, holy. Friend, you are still ashamed to come out of sin. You are not here. The love is not there because the love of God is shared abroad in our heart. When that love is there, brothers and sisters, you will stand on the standard. How can my wife say she loves me? My wife will not begin to chat with other men, telling them I love them, I kiss you, I romance you. How is it possible? Is there anybody that can see that? Any man or any woman here that can see that message and the person will be happy. They say, we, when, we are, when we fail to declare, when we fail to demonstrate that we are children of God, Christ, he pays. If that love is shared abroad in our heart, we cannot work. We cannot do that. Let's read in the book of John. Any other person, anybody there already? Sister, if you are there, you can read. Anybody there? John chapter 15, from verse 10 to 11. If you are not there, read here. John chapter 15, 10. If you, if you keep my commandments, ye abide, my love, even I have kept my father's commandment, and abide in his love. 11. Those things I have spoken unto you, that my joy mightly remain in you, and that your joy may be free. Yes, God bless you. Stop there. Okay. That your joy may be full. <laughs> Mark the word, if ye keep my commandments, and ye abide in my love, even as I have kept my father's commandment, if Jesus did not keep the father's commandment, Jesus could have not been telling us to keep his commandments. Because they have kept the Father's commandment. Therefore, he expects us also to keep also his commandment. Friend, are you really keeping the commandment? You want your children to keep your commandment. When you don't keep the commandment of God. When you don't keep your, the commandment of God, you are expecting your wife to keep, keep, keep your commandment. You are expecting your children to keep your commandment. When you don't keep the commandment of God. You are shouting for your wife. You don't, you, you are very stubborn. You, how many times are you be, have you been stubborn from God when the message has been coming to you? How do you swallow the message, you sister? You want children to keep their command, keep your commandment, but you are not keeping the commandment of God. You need to have this, uh, this understanding. I pray God of heaven will help us in Jesus' name. Delight in God's word, develop, develop into an into an into even deep love for for all God's will, because we have come to love Him. We have come to love Him. Let's see in the book of Psalm 19, one, uh, Psalm 119, verse 132. Let's see what God has for us here. We love the we love the scripture that reveal him and his and his way to us. As long as as we follow, we have been made one with him in Romans chapter five, chapter six verse five. Our heart now has what has has feast in his love and develop for his revelation truth. Let's read in the book of uh, Psalm one hundred and nineteen. Verse 
Pondra 32. Are we there? Yes. Yes. Great, please. Look, look thou upon me and be merciful unto me as thou use that to do unto those that love thy name. Yes, unto those that love thy name, as he used to do to them, right from their oath to today, is he going to do if only thou obey his commandment. If only thou follow him. Let's read these two places, or one, one place we, we close. In the book of Romans, chapter 6, verse Verse 5. Romans 6, 5. Are we there? Yes, sir. Go on, please. I read, I read in Jesus' name. Amen. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of a restoration. Yes, God bless you. As we share for his death, we will also share for his resurrection. As you know, we are waiting for him now, he's preparing to come. If he, if he come, he will be in the air, he will not come down. And as if in that air, all the sin, the angel will gather them to meet him in the crowd. I pray you and I should be there among. Friends, it is very, very important for us to what? To delight. Remember the message, I delight myself in the commandment which I love. Do you really love the commandment of God? I don't know people here that are saying, no, the commandment of God is too hard. Does it really hard to obey? When you are obeying the society, you don't say it's too hard. But to obey God's word that will bring joy, that will bring happiness, that will bring comfort, that will bring love, that will bring everything, internal life. But for us to obey it is hard. But I pray this morning that the Lord of heaven will help us to be obedient to his word. This morning, brothers and sisters, let's open our mouth and cry unto the Lord. We have heard the word. Let's pray that the Lord of heaven will help us to delight in his word, to do according to his instruction, not as we want, but as he wants us to go. This morning, open your mouth and pray. And tell the Lord, Lord, as I am ending August today, I have made a, a serious decision this morning, a different decision, decision to obey you alone, a decision to keep all your commandments, whether rain or sun. Some people may say, if I don't go and lie, I cannot eat, brother, is the lie. It can just be a, only a short time, a short period. But the Lord can never leave those that are faithful to him. Pray this morning that God of heaven will bring his word, will plant this his word into your heart. That this word you have heard this morning, that Satan will not take them away from him. Lord, I'm ready. I'm ready. As I hear it, I will not delay it to obey. Pray this morning. Lord of God, Father. Eternal Father. Jesus. We want to thank you. We want to bless you. You have opened our eyes Jesus. to see the area where we have gone astray. Lord, I bow down myself this morning to ask for mercy. Lord, in any area where I have not follow your way. I have not obey you. Lord, I pray for mercy. This morning, Father, I renounce and I declare to follow you in sincerity, in humbleness, in meekness, to obey all your commandments. I will not take any one of them out out of them. 
that I know that your grace is available for me. Give me the sufficient grace, Lord, to keep them going and to keep moving. I pray for your children that are saying, Lord, I have seen where I have been missing out. Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we have seen that your commandments are not grievous. Lord, I pray every seed that the devil has sowed into our heart, I pray those seeds will not germinate. I pray for our brothers and sisters all over the world. Father, help us to follow your will. That at the end of this journey, we have the cause to glorify. Daddy, as we obey, I pray your blessing will be released upon us. Your joy, your happiness, Lord, will be released upon us. As your children go out today, those that are going to work, go to offices, even those that are going to bed right now, Lord, keep your children. Protect them. Deliver them. Lord, let favor go with them. Those that are asking for job opportunity, Lord, bless them with job. Those that are asking for document, life partner, those that are asking for children, Lord, bless your children, Father. Lord, I pray you will wipe away the tears of your children that at the end, Heavenly Father, your name may Lord be glorified. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For you, he will be magnified, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed, Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we have come to the end of today's program. Let us endeavor to keep the commandment in our heart and to continue to live by it. As we do that, God will continue to bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and His fellowship on the Holy Spirit, bless and bear with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, may His goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. Oh, we shall do it in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Our life is in Christ Jesus. Jesus is in God the Father. Therefore, our life will be safe and secure in the name of Jesus Christ. Our life is in Christ Jesus. Jesus is in God the Father. Therefore, our going out, our coming in, every activities of today, be safe and secure in the name of Jesus Christ. In the book of uh, Micah chapter 7, verse 7 and 8, I will look unto the Lord, I will wait for the God of my salvation, my God will hear me. Rejoice not against me, O my enemy, when I fall, I shall rise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be life unto me in the name of Jesus Christ. In the book of Galatians, chapter 6, verse 17, uh, verse 17, for henceforth, let no man trouble us, for we bear in our body the mark of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that no man or woman will be able to trouble you in Jesus' name. God bless you and have a blessed and wonderful last day. Go ahead, you are say something. Hello, sir. Please, though, I don't have your life and the life life, your new life. Okay, I will use it to call you on WhatsApp now. Bye, sir. Have a nice day. God bless you.